In this video, let us solve problems by applying the concepts of trigonometry. And the problem that we have here reads like this. A tower is 100 root 3 meters high. Find the angle of elevation of its top from a point 100 meters away from its foot. Well, a very starter problem this is. Pretty simple and basic. So let's first get the diagram right. It says the tower is 100 root 3 meters high. So first let's draw the tower. So we've got the tower here which is 100 root 3 meters high and then we have to find the angle of elevation of its top. So this is the top and this is the bottom. Let's name it. Top is B and the bottom is A and its height is 100 root 3 meters. So what we have to do now is find the angle of elevation of its top. So we need to find the angle of elevation of the point B from where? From a point 100 meters away from its foot. So say we choose a point here and say this point is exactly 100 meters away, right? Yeah, let's say this is 100 meters away, this point from where we have to find the angle of elevation of the point B. So let's name that C and let us join this now. So this is what we have to find. If you remember the first video, this is the angle of elevation. Let's call it theta, right? So if you're wondering uh, how are we going to use trigonometry here, it is pretty simple. So now the question is we need to find the angle of elevation. We need to find this theta. But if you see this, this is clearly a right angle triangle, clearly a right angle triangle. So we've got AB and we've got AC. AB is 100 root 3 meters. That is the height of the pole. And then the point from where we have to find the angle of elevation is 100 meters from the foot of the pole. So we've got the length of AC also. So we need to find theta. So now, you know, when you take trigonometry, you remember of the sine theta, cos theta, tan theta, and so on. And you know that sine theta is, you know, opposite by hypotenuse, and hypotenuse is CB, cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse. But then in this problem, you know, the hypotenuse doesn't have any length, or I mean, we, didn't, we do not know the length of the hypotenuse. So, I mean, we can find the length of the hypotenuse, and we can use sine theta or cos theta, but then we've already got, you know, tan theta. Tan theta is opposite by adjacent. So we've got these data here. So all we have to do is write tan theta equals opposite is opposite to this is AB. So tan theta is AB by adjacent is AC. Right. So we've got AB as 100 root 3 and we've got AC as 100. And we've got tan theta as this. So 100, 100 gets cancelled and we found tan theta tan theta is root 3. Now it's pretty easy to find theta, isn't it? W tan of what is root 3 is the question now. The problem finally comes down to that. And this is pretty simple because we know that now for tan theta to be equal to root 3, tan theta should be equal to tan 60 degrees. So therefore, theta equals 60 degrees. So what it says is the angle of elevation of the tower stop from a point 100 meters from its foot is exactly 60 degrees. So this is how we solve problems by applying concepts of trigonometry. All right, let us quickly solve another problem. So here we've got another problem which reads like this. The angle of elevation of the top of a tower from a point on the ground which is 30 meters away from the foot of the tower is 30 degrees. Find the height of the tower. Another straightforward question for which let us uh, draw a diagram. It says that the angle of elevation of the top of the tower from a point on the ground and that point on the ground is 30 meters away from the foot of the tower. So first let us draw the tower. Here is the tower. Let's name it AB. It says the point from which we need to take the angle of elevation is 30 meters away from the foot of the tower. So say something like this. So this is the foot of the tower and let us name this C. And let us join this and make it a right angle triangle for us to be able to use the concepts of trigonometry. So now what it says is we need to find the height of the tower. So AB is the height of the tower. So let us take that as H. This is 30 meters. And it, it also says that the angle of elevation is 30 degrees. The angle of elevation of the top of a tower is 30 degrees. And that is from a point on the ground, which is 30 meters away from the foot of the tower. This is the foot of the tower. And the angle of elevation is from a point which is 30 meters away from the foot of the tower. So this is that point. So this angle is 30 degrees. So what we have to do now is find H. Again, very simple. What is involved? Now let us look at it as a right angle triangle. What is involved is the opposite, adjacent, and an angle. So opposite and adjacent, 
go back to tan theta so tan theta equals opposite ab adjacent by adjacent which is bc so we've got the theta here so tan of 30 degrees equals we need to find ab which is h so let's write it as h over bc which is 30 so h is nothing but tan 30 degrees multiplied by 30 meters so tan 30 degrees is nothing but 1 by root 3 into 30 so therefore h equals 30 by root 3 which can be written as 30 can be written as 3 into 10 by root 3 and 3 can be written as root 3 times root 3 and root 3 root 3 gets cancelled and so we've got h as 10 root 3 meters so the height of the tower is nothing but 10 root 3 meters so this concludes this video i'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on trigonometry